Now, let's turn your head and we'll take a look into this side. So you were concerned about this cough and wanted his ears checked? And, yes. And then maybe after we're finished with that, I can just see if you have any other concerns. Okay. We see a lot of children who cry in the office and it's difficult for parents, it's difficult even for us sometimes when children are crying a lot, struggling with an exam. And I think sometimes just for me to remember that, you know, this is a child's temperament. A little bit cold. A little cold. I noticed I that I judge children less now that I've learned about temperament. Rather than, oh, here's this little brat, I think, here's a child who's slow to warm up and really having a hard time adjusting to this new frightening situation. To prevent behavior problems, these health care okay. providers consider the behavioral style or temperament of a child when giving guidance to parents. Time sleeping is just a real problem. Yeah. My children share a room, uh -huh. and my daughter's in kindergarten now, so it's very important that when it's bedtime, she has quiet and yeah. can go to sleep. Uh -huh. um, and oftentimes, he's just not ready. No, your daughter did not do that. No. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, based, I think, you know, it's probably just, you've got two children with two different temperaments. She Temperament yeah, concepts easy. based on regarding oh, each child as unique can be applied to children from infancy. As a result, you can help parents manage temperament-related issues more effectively and lessen their guilt about issues that are normal for the particular temperament of their child. Temperament makes it possible for parents to know their children as individuals instead of the stereotype business of here's a blank slate, I will write on it and create a perfect all-American child. These parents have been brainwashed, really, to believe that what the child turns out to be depends on skill as parents. And if one brings to them the reality that children do have different behaviors and these come into the world with the child, and that their responsibility as parents is to get to understand their individual child and react to him uh, in a separate way depending upon what his temperamental qualities are. This takes away the guilt. It brings an ability to enjoy the child instead of being perpetually giving lessons. Many parents feel guilty because their child is different from other children. They come in saying, I know it's all my fault because, and then they list a group of things. Some of them are true problems, and some of them are really just uh, uh, different aspects of normal, which they have misunderstood as abnormal, uh, partly because of who they are and what they have been trained to <coughs> see as proper, partly because of some of the behaviors of the children are embarrassing like tantrums, uh, partly because people have given them advice that is not very useful. The style that makes one child different from another is the child's particular mix of temperamental qualities or traits. Parents fill out a temperament questionnaire with questions specific to their child's age group. Parents then receive a temperament profile and narrative description with guidance for behaviors that are normal for their child. I used to spend a lot of hours after, especially after uh, seeing patients on the phone talking about behavioral issues because I knew those conversations were going to be quite lengthy. Having the uh, temperament profile of the child available, then I feel like I can give advice that is customized for their child. It seems to make a lot of sense. And I can tell that it, it helps because I don't get return calls. Sometimes if you, your children are difficult or hard or may have to repeat things. If they begin to see themselves bad or they're being told now you're being bad. And, and to get them, get people to know how to kind of try to deal with these children. Uh, earlier, I think it helps parents. I think it helps a teacher. I think it helps a doctor. And I, of course, I think basically it really helps the child. I think it's important for doctors, nurses, parents to recognize temperament because everyone is different. And if they can recognize differences, they can help people specifically with their problems, help people specifically with um, handling their child and um, encouraging their child to be all that their child can be. The temperament approach can be helpful both to you and to the parents and children you see.